Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson and this is a series of lessons on the indicators that the technical indicators that I like to use personally and we went over RSI in the last one you can see RSI up here at the top of the chart now today we're gonna go over my second favorite uh, technical indicator and that is called slow stochastics and you can see it down here now I'm not gonna go into what all the the actual explanation of it you can do it yourself it is essentially another momentum indicator and it's got a value of 1 to 100 anything over 80 is overbought anything under 20 is oversold similar to what we see on RSI now what I like to look for when I'm looking at slow stochastics now before I jump into that there's two types of stochastics slow stochastics and fast you can again look and get the explanations for it, but slow means slow. Uh, it doesn't give off as many signals as the fast one, which is what I like to see. When I look at these indicators, I'm not looking at specific readings of, I want it to be 21, I want it to be 33. I look at how it how it is on the chart and what its relation is to what the price is. Again, I'm trying to get in before all these computer programs are getting in. So I'm looking to see how they look. So right now you can see here, we're gonna look at XSPA back in March. And back in March, looking at RSI, you can see RSI was under the 30 level. And if we go down here, Stochastics was also under the 20 level. This is oversold. When I look at charts and I see Stochastics and RSI under both of these levels, I pay really close attention to these charts. It may take a little time. It may take a week or two. Actually, market was imploding when this actually happened. It ended up being about two or three weeks that it was meandering down here in the low area. But you can see, once it started to turn up, once RSI started to turn up, this is actually when we got into this stock. And it ended up giving a big... 100% move. It ended up having a press release and a big move, if I remember correctly. And you can see that looking at the chart, stochastics, stochastics and RSI told us that a move like that was coming. Now, opposite of that is timing and exit. You can see when stochastics got above the 80 level, this is an overbought indicator, and RSI got up and started getting up to that 70 level. You can see it corresponded with the top here in the stock. And then we saw a 30 percent drop on this stock over the next couple of days now we don't need to see all these indicators line up like i mean the perfect scenario is if rsi is under 30 stochastics under 20 that's a strong look on a chart but as i've said before it's also on the look you recall here when stochastics dipped briefly under the 20 level rsi had dipped under the 50 level and you recall me telling you guys when i did this video i like seeing it when rsi chills around the 50 level on a retrace before it pops up so when i saw rsi hanging like this and stochastics was here that is another reason why we got into this stock a couple of days other than the news coming before it did that big move so when i'm looking at stocks and i've got a reason for it I always go to the charts and as I've said before good charts always find a reason to get news so that's when the research comes in and we couple it with using some of these momentum indicators let's look at DXLG back in March deep oversold RSI but now look look here at stochastic you can see this one was deep oversold as well and it corresponded with that big pop up there now when I looked at this chart on Friday after finding that research on Amazon stochastics had gotten all the way down here so this was a bounce level for it and remember on XSPA we had RSI dip under the 50 so I had two momentum indicators right here tell me okay I've got great news these momentum indicators are ready to turn and this stock is ready to move the last one I'm gonna go on is genius G N U S now you can see up here we've got RSI crazy crazy overbought up there at the 90 level look here at stochastics it was up over the 80 level so if you needed a reason to get out of this stock on the spike just looking at these two momentum indicators should have told you that the risk reward was off on this one so again this is my second most favorite technical indicator just go back review what it is if you just had to trade with two indicators, these are the top two indicators I would use. RSI and Stochastics, 
Great momentum timing for bottoms and getting in early and great momentum indicators to tell you, okay, it's time to take some gains and gets out. So hopefully you guys found this video informing and I look forward to doing another one for you guys next week. Bye.